Hello, uh, my name is Harsh. So I'm also Harsh, Harsh, Harsh Thakur. You can call me Mr. T for the discussion. A convenient hota hai. So um, I agree, Kikla. There have been epochs where we have seen climate change rapid, we have seen ice ages. We haven't seen it, but we know it from whatever <laughs> evidence we have. The most important or the most imperative uh, in climate action is not air pollution. Because I understand what I'm saying. Air pollution and water pollution can be handled with amount of awareness, certain amount of enforcement, and a certain amount of legislative. Already there is enough legislative backing. So if you look at it, I don't see it to be lasting as a more of a serious problem more than three, four years. The serious problem, however, is soil pollution. Now, soil pollution becomes a very pollution, pollution. But we are speaking about desertification. And to some extent, now the discourse is about soil extinction. Now we are looking at a situation that by 2045, our population will be, currently we are at 8 billion. We are looking at a population which will be around 16 or maybe 20 billion. And the amount of food which we will be having will be less by 50%. Take for example any civilization. I will point then let us have a discussion and again go back to it. We look at any civilization, be it the Mayan civilization, be it the Harappan civilization, the Indus Saraswati civilization. This civilization called the Kloge. The one reason, even the Roman civilization, the root cause of the decline of the Roman Empire was also infertility and food shortages. And we are heading to the same direction. You have more population, more mouths to feed, and less food. 